This weekend in the Crosshairs Hunting TV, we are still in Canada, and we're going to finish up our Ontario bear hunt. This week, it's Joe, Steph, and the world-famous Arden. Sit back and relax. This show starts right now. What a stud. Set your sights on shooters. Northern Michigan's premier archery pro shop. Carrying bows from top manufacturers like Bowtech, Prime, Quest, Ten Point, Striker, and more. With prices starting at $300, we have the bow to fit your budget. At Shooters, we also service, set up, and tune your current equipment. Schedule a lesson or sharpen your skills on any one of our three archery ranges. It's all indoors, so the weather's always right for archery. At Shooters Indoor Gun and Archery Range, just west of Menards on US 31 Traverse City. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's In the Crosshairs Hunting TV. I'm Stacy Skaggs, and you've heard me say this before, but we have another fantastic show coming up today. You seen it last week, or the week before, where it was Ashley and myself. We headed up to Timmins, Ontario. We joined Mo Petre from KMO and Sons Outfitters. And I shot a fantastic bear on the very first night, and a couple nights later, Ashley shot a great bear. So far, I'm two for two, and Ashley's one for one with Mo. But this week, what we're doing is we're going to join Joe, Steph, and Arden. Now, when Joe starts baiting his bears, he starts baiting his bears literally like it is right here. There's snow on the ground. But again, these bears are in the hibernation stage. They're not really coming out. But the days are getting longer. They're getting warmer. And every day, these bears start to come out. So Joe, of course, we got all of our SBBS baits. We got the alpha pellets, chocolate bars, peanut butter. We're starting baiting these bears early. So he starts chopping down trees, making paths back there. You know, there's a lot that goes into this. He's got to put the pellets in the barrel, set the barrel up, putting the logs into the barrel, spraying the area down, getting that scent out there. Arden's up in the tree stand. He's putting brush on the blind, getting it all brushed in. And the final thing that he does is he sets a trail camera. And he's going to come back in a week or so and check it. Well, wouldn't you know it, it had only taken five days and bears started hitting the bait. Small bears at first, like always. But then, within two weeks, the bigger boys started showing up. And Joe said, hey, you know what, Dad? Let's get out here. Let's jump in a tree stand. Let's see what we can do. Hey, everyone. It's Joe from In the Crosshairs. We just walked in to our bait, and there was a bear on it. So we're going to set up really, really, really quick. We got some new stuff from our friends at SBBS, uh, the, the Sweet Bear Baits. And we're excited about it. It smells like crazy. We got some licorice. We got their alpha pellets, which are going to be awesome. We got some chocolate bars. They set us right up. And we're going to try their new blueberry spray, too. Something they're testing right now. It smells amazing, but we got to do something different to get these nocturnal bears in during the day. So that's what we're up to tonight. Dad's on the crossbow. I'm on the camera. We're going to make this happen. As Arden's climbing up into the tree, he's getting ready. Joe is out there putting the pellets in the barrel, and the last thing he's going to do is he's going to spray down with that blueberry spray. Any bear that comes within a couple hundred yards is going to smell it and has got to come in. And as you remember, Arden, he's never met a bear that he doesn't like. He's the old famous head shooter. Well, this year, he wanted to do something a little different. He grabbed Joe's crossbow and said, I've never shot a bear with a bow and arrow or a crossbow. Let's give it a whirl. And sure enough, here comes a bear. And you know Arden, if you follow the show, this bear is probably going to meet its maker right here. And this is a great bear, beautiful bear, and it's got a great big white, almost a U instead of a V on his chest. 
that just even makes it more appealing to Arden. This bear is in a world of trouble if he gives him a shot. And this bear would not give him a shot. It would come in, grab some bait, and take off. Come in, take off. It was straight on, straight away. Never gave him that perfect shot. Finally, Joe said, Dad, when he comes in and grabs another chunk of bait, and he goes to leave, if he stops, let him have it. And Arden makes the shot count. And a short 20 yards away, Arden's bear is laying dead on the ground. Look at that hole from that 100 green Spitfire Max. That's where it come out. Coming out of him. Beautiful. Look at that perfect, yeah. nice, beautiful white U there. It's not even a V, it's like a U. What a pretty, pretty bear. Very, very nice bear. So here we are again. Another bear down. For us in the spring bear hunt, just a fantastic hunt, fun hunt. There's nothing else going on in the spring up here in Ontario, so I'm sure glad they brought this back. Dad smoked another one tonight with a crossbow, so you're three for three in the last three years since we've been hunting here in Simmons. Yep. Muzzle loader, 3855 crossbow. Crossbow. What are you going to use next year? Compound, I hope. <laughs> compound, okay, you heard it. It's got to be a compound next year, so... Uh, more than happy to have this one down. This is the first daytime bear that we had on camera. Um, there was a smaller one that we jumped on the bait when we came in, but he came in, was loving the licorice, gave us a hard time. I've never had to wait this long to get a shot on a bear ever. It was, uh, he, he, he tested our patience, but you held true. He didn't take a poor shot. You waited for the perfect shot, yep. and he went 15 yards. Yep. I mean, you just 10 ringed him. He was done as soon as that hit him. Death moaned and everything, so that's a it's a terrible sound, but it's a good sign because they, one, you know you're not tracking, and two, you know they're not suffering. So now we gotta get this bad boy out, hang him up at home, get him skinned, brag to Steph. Yep. She's yeah, probably up yeah, next. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's next. <laughs> Hopefully she works some late nights and I can get out in the tree stand instead of being cameraman, but we'll go from there as long as we fill our tags. So just a beautiful board, Dad. Yes. Congratulations. Beautiful. Thank you. Nice big white. I, I'm going to call that a U, not a V, because it's a beautiful white U on his chest. Big head, long nose. He probably score actually half decent, so. Great bear, now the work begins. So we got the world famous Arden out of the way. We always make sure he gets his bear first. Now it's time for Joe and Stephanie. But we're going to get into that when we come back from this quick commercial break. Why do we only use Bojax on our equipment? In every independent sound and vibration test, Bojax always wins. The best limb dampeners work by touching the bow limbs to dampen vibrations. Bojax is the best design dampening system. Team Bojax. What team are you on? Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Arden's out of the way, now it's Joe's turn. You know, and Joe being in this area he lives there joe's killed 350 400 500 pound bears so joe's a little picky when it comes to bears he doesn't have well when i go up there i only have three four five days he's got the whole season so again joe's very picky he's not going to pull the trigger unless it's a big bear and as always joe's sitting there and joe's seeing the 150 the 200 pound bears they're nice bears but they're just not what Joe's after. So after a week or 10 days, Joe is just, he's, he's got the bears on camera. They're there, but they're nocturnal bears. He knows sooner or later, these bigger boars are gonna start coming in, looking for a female, and they're gonna be hungry. But it's just a waiting game. And you know what? You can't kill a bear sitting on the couch. So Joe decides, hey, you know what? I'm gonna jump in the stand, and I'm just gonna see what happens tonight. Using, uh, you know, new bait from SPPS Bear Bait. 
I'm using uh, every spray I can get my hands on and shakers from Northwoods Bear Baits. I just, I just cannot seem to get the big boys to come up during the night. Today is abnormally warm. It's like 25, 26 degrees Celsius. And, uh, you know, my heart told me to go fishing. But I wanted to see what this warm weather did to these bears. So, we'll see. Steph's out. My dad's filming for Steph. I'm self-filming. I have a perfect wind tonight. I'm just missing one ingredient, and that's the bears. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what we can make happen tonight. It's been a long season so far, and I think I'm in for a long haul this year for sure. But, um, Stacy and Ashley are coming up on Friday, so I'm looking forward to that. But it'd be nice if I could have my bear down and just spend some time with them filming, so... We'll see what happens tonight, but all we can do is try right. You can't kill him from your couch. And like all the times before, sure enough, first bears to come in are the small bears. And and bears are actually, when they come in and they start feeding on a barrel, they're very interesting to watch. How they maneuver the barrel, eat the food, they're kind of entertaining to watch. And at the same time you're hunting them, but they are very entertaining to watch. And the little bears are always there first, just like your spikes and four points and does. They always come out first. Those bigger boys, they're going to wait till it's just getting dark before they make their appearance. And wouldn't you know it, sun is setting, he's losing camera light, he sees a big shooter bear. Now this isn't JLo big, but this is a very good boar. Again, it's running out of camera light, and this bear is being very cautious. Joe, if you're going to make this happen on camera, you got to do it now. But the bear just won't give Joe a shot. He comes in, he walks around. We'll never give him a shot. Finally, you know, and I've said this before, ladies and gentlemen. When you're bear hunting and you're filming a bear, you have a black object, and they like to come out of the dark. It's hard to see them. Joe can see the bear, but the camera can't pick the bear up that great. Joe finally gets into position. He comes to full draw, and he lets the arrow fly. So when you're archery hunting a bear, and you know that you've hit the bear, and again, it's getting dark. You're not really confident in the shot. But once you hear this sound right here, as creepy as it may seem. That bear is done. That's a dead bear. Get on out of your tree and go find your bear. That's why they call it the death moan. It is a horrible sound, but that is the best sound to hear when you're archery hunting bears. Because you know your bear is done. Or for that matter, if you're gun hunting. That bear is a done bear. He's dead. Go find your bear. So it's May 27th, I don't know, 13 or 14th sit or something like that. I saw a small bear tonight that came in and I, I passed. I mean, this is a little guy. Watched him eat for a little bit. And then uh, just before I was about to pack up, I was going to leave a little bit early tonight. I caught movement to my left. And I looked in the swamp about 80 yards away from me and I could see a bear coming in. And... I knew it was a decent bear, I just, I knew it wasn't the one I was after, Kong, but it was a good bear anyways. It came in and usually I don't shoot him unless they're at the height of the barrel, that's a big bear. He was, he was a couple inches under, but it just felt right. <laughs> so we just came out and we watched the footage and uh, when I pulled the release, he turned, I don't know if you heard the bow or whatever, and my vital shot turned into a dead on chest shot as soon as he turned. But he only went 15, 20 yards, and then I heard him fall and do the death moan. So we're going to go pick him up. Um, really happy with this bear. We hunted hard this year, and we haven't been seeing a lot of daytime bears. Although our baits are exploding. I got like, I don't know, the baits, bears were on my bait this morning from 5 a.m. till about 1.30. And then I saw two tonight, so it's about to pick up pretty good here in Timmins. And you're the only one with a tag left. <laughs> yeah, i got to get a bear. And all the big ones are left, though. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna head back there and and grab this bear and get him out. It's gonna be a long night and uh, and we'll, we'll we'll turn it on the camera when we get there and we'll let you know how big he is. He's not my biggest, but I'm very happy with him and it's a decent bear for sure. Quite a bit of blood here. Oh, a nice bear. Oh. <laughs> Look at the hole coming up. 
so here he is, my 2017 spring bear, just a beautiful boar. Nice big noggin on him. Um, one of the nocturnal bears, I recognize him, he was nocturnal on camera, and we just waited him out. We played with some new stuff this year from SBBS, and uh, black licorice is the hit. They have uh, alpha pellets, and Brent sent me actual black licorice, and it's the first thing they hit when they come in, so really, really kept these guys coming back. Really beautiful bear, um, can't be more happy with him. The shot was, <laughs> you, you've seen it, I mean I caught him in the chest, right square in the chest, and it came out back here, so, you know, that, uh, that darton just ripped a hole right through him, and the Spitfire Broadhead did a fantastic job. Not, not the best shot I've ever taken, and not one I normally want to take, but it, it did good. It did good, and the bear only made it 20 yards, so. Now the work begins. So that's two bears. We got one left and then Stacy and Ashley are coming up on Friday so hopefully we can get Steph one by then. They're starting to come out during the day now, they're all over the place and uh, there's a couple monsters here that uh, if she takes I might be a little bit jealous but a little bit happy at the same time so um, definitely a couple booners left. We're going to get this guy out, it's going to be a long haul out of here and uh, on to the next one I guess. So there you have it. We got two out of the three done. Arden's done. Joe's done. Ashley and I are headed up there. The only person left to tag is Stephanie. We're going to get into Stephanie's hunt right after this last commercial break. This week's show has also been brought to you by Out the Door Rent to Own. Whether you're in need of furniture, electronics, or appliances, stop in and see Kevin for all the great deals. Out the Door Rent to Own, located on North Mitchell Street, Cadillac. Why do we only shoot victory arrows? Here's a little taste why. With blazing fast speeds and penetration second to none, when you've tried all the rest but you simply want the best, there's only one arrow choice for us. Victory arrow. Uh, victory vet. Victory vet. That's victory archery. We trust our shots to victory and so can you. Well hey everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to turn it over to Stephanie, the last part of today's show. Stephanie, with her work schedule, had not had a chance to get out very much. Been out once or twice, hadn't seen any bears. So, Ashley and I head off to one stand, Joe and Stephanie head to another, and let's turn it over to Steph and Joe and see how their night turns out. Hi everyone, we're up here for Steph's fifth sit of the season. Last night we had two bears come in. <clears throat> one was a really, really small one, so we let it walk. The other one was a big, wise bear who circled downwind from us, got right in behind us, and I just got him on camera leaving, but... It's not even enough to tell how big he was, but young bears don't do the circle downwind and come up behind you before they hit the bait, so we're hoping they come in tonight within shooting light again and uh, Steph can get it done. I know Ashley and Stacy are out tonight. They saw two bears last night. One was good, one was small. The good one didn't come in, of course, so um, we're hunting hard and, and open to fill. We got three more tags left to go. I put out so much scent tonight that anything that comes within 100 yards will not be able to smell humans, that's for sure. It's everywhere, so hopefully we, we can crank one tonight. All right, Steph. This is the anniversary of Steph's kill from last year, so we gotta get one. We gotta get one. It popped up on Facebook as a memory, so I was like, oh, look, Steph, today's your lucky day. Today's the day, so. So stay tuned. Hopefully we got about a three and a half hour sit. Hopefully we can get it done sooner than that, but we'll get some footage for you tonight. And again, like always, little bears show up first. This little 150 pound bear shows up. Obviously Stephanie, living there, she's got all the time in the world. She's going to be a little picky. She's not going to shoot this bear because it's a young bear. But it's still entertaining to watch these bears. Like I said before, they're just, something about them is just fun to watch. Next thing you know, she looks over, she's tapping Joe, there's a monster. And this is a big Canadian black bear. And this is clearly one of the monsters that Joe had on camera that is coming in only at night. This is the first time this bear has made an appearance in the daytime. Now this is a great bear, this is pushing 400 pounds for a spring bear. This is a bear to shoot. Instantly, Stephanie knew that this was a shooter bear. She's up on the rail. She's ready to go. Joe's filming. 
All this bear has to do is give her just a split second to get a shot, and she's going to let this bear have it. And wouldn't you know it, he turns perfectly broadside and gives her the shot of all shots right here. The staff just knocked down the biggest bear of 2017 so far. <laughs> yes. We heard, oh well, man, I was, I was shaking. Oh, I'm still shaking. Oh. <coughs> I know I heard him from my, my right over here a while for about probably 10 minutes. And then I just heard another little crack. And then I just seen this big thing coming in. I'm trying to get Joe's attention. And to be honest, he's not listening to me. He's playing on his phone. <laughs> I was checking then, the time. And then, oh, I was just shaking from there. He didn't even know we were here. He, oh, we heard him God. death moan. He went from the shot. He went a lot further than I thought he would. Like he's got to be 50 yards behind the bait, but he's directly behind the bait. I was, I wasn't sure if I, well, I knew I gave a good shot, but he just kept running and, and running and. and They're usually, tough. Usually I don't like that death moan, <laughs> but I was waiting for it, and I'm like, why isn't it happening? Yeah, it's an awful sound, but it like, is a good sound. Did I like not? Did, didn't I hit him right? But then once he just started going, I was happy. Then I had to block my ears because I can still feel you shaking. I am <laughs> usually I get so fired up that I can't talk, but that one isn't going to be a lot for me to pull out. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, he's fat. I didn't think of that. <laughs> it's a really big bear so oh, we're, we gotta oh. we gotta go find him before it gets dark though so mm -hmm. we're gonna put the camera down put our orange on um and then we're gonna head back there and see if we can't find him quick so uh we'll, we'll take you guys with us when we when we uh see what's going on back there and we find some blood but oh, I'm so excited. it's a big bear that's your biggest <laughs> i'm gonna show stacy up <laughs> that that one for sure is going to bob that one's going on the wall there's no ifs ands or buts about it so <gasps> Oh, this is good. Two bears in one night. Yes, yes Stacy does have one down. He's with, uh, he's with our great buddy Mo over at Camo and Son of Outfitters. And he sent us a picture an hour after he got there. So, very good night. A lot of work to do tomorrow. Fishing may be <laughs> off, off the plate tomorrow. We might be cleaning bears. So, all right, oh. let's go find your bear. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a beauty. <laughs> What's your biggest bear yet? Holy crap! Wow. Look at him. Okay, he's so big. He's a beauty. For me anyways. Wow. Lift up that head. Oh, oh. nice. Very, very nice. Oh, he is a beauty. Oh. That's a, that he is a... Uh, very big head on that stuff. So. Well, check it out, my little hand. I can't believe I got this guy. <laughs> Seriously, I always, I was almost ready to take that on that little bear. <laughs> I'm so, I'm glad I waited. He's, oh. he's a pretty bear. He's a perfect he shot good. too. Yeah. I was lucky enough to kill a great bear. On the way back to Joe's house, we get a message that Steph shoots a giant and. As you can clearly see, Steph has shot a giant. <laughs> <laughs> incredible, incredible oh, bear. Oh, yeah, he's nice. I mean, he's got a scar in his ear. Look at that. Oh, it's split, right? He's split. Well, Scars on his right face. Right on his face right here is a nice But nice what a fantastic bear. Well, we had five people, five tags. Four of them are gone. Ashley's up next. Steph and I both shot our bears tonight. You know, this area around here in Timmins is loaded full of bear. You heard me say it earlier tonight. There's only one outfitter to call, and that is Mo. And actually, when you're here, 
his brother Bob, who owns Bob's Taxidermy, and he's out here with us tonight. He's the only taxidermist I know that makes house calls. So he's going <laughs> to help us skin this big guy out and get it ready for a mount because there's no way that I'm going to let Stephanie drag this bear out by herself. So <laughs> what a great bear kid. That is awesome footage, great shot. The bear, what, 20 yards, 30 yards after the hit? 20. 20 yards. 20, yeah. So now, um, for everybody watching, how many times have you been out this year? Uh, five, five or six. And is this, how many bears have you seen? One. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess two counting. Uh, the one that you seen earlier. The one today, yeah. Yep. And he passed it, and that was an amazing choice. Uh, what I a know. What a great boar. Huge, huge noggin. I think this is bigger than somebody else's that I know named Joe. Yep. <laughs> this bear's a little better, so... <laughs> Well, I'll awesome. try not to rub it in too much. Yeah, we won't we won't do that. So <laughs> what do you say we get him tagged and we let Bob go to work on this thing? Yeah. You know what guys and gals? We got one tag left coming at you tomorrow. Ashley's gonna be in the tree. Hopefully we can tag out tomorrow night right here in Timmins, Ontario. Don't you guys go nowhere? We'll be right back after this. Well, there you have it. We had five hunters, five dead bears. Again, just like last year, J Lo one, J Lo two. We had five hunters, five dead bears. This year Five hunters, five dead bears. We're running a pretty good success rate there in Timmins, Ontario. But again, we'll head back up there this year, June of 2018. The five of us will be back in the woods trying to fill our tags once again. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have ran out of time for this week's show. From all of us here at In the Crosshairs Hunting TV, we certainly hope you enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And until next week, I'm Stacy Skaggs. I'll see you here again for another great episode of In the Crosshairs Hunting TV.